To make this your best year ever, have a piece of the 400 million, see what you can do, touch the lives of as many people as you can possibly touch. Number one was get serious. Here's number two, get smart. At the, that's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Develop a whole new intensity for the 90s that you're not going to miss the information. You're not going to miss the stories. You're not going to miss the details. Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience. Right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Okay? Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year's enough. Learn from your own experience, right? So the call didn't go well, all the stuff. Guess what they did when they finished that call? They made another call. What else could we do to make it better? How could we possibly improve? Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. And that's the reason for coming here, spending a couple of days of intense effort, taking notes, rolling up your sleeves, going to work, commit yourself to learning so that you can get smarter for the days ahead. Develop your philosophy. Herbalife's philosophy has carried it now these 12 years to extraordinary heights. Those that do the work get the pay. A philosophy that commits itself to having the finest no matter what it costs. That kind of philosophy. I'm asking you to develop your own personal philosophy. Get your business philosophy going. Get your financial plan going. Don't violate the conclusions of your own philosophy by not executing and taking action. But that's number two, get smart. Here's number three, get going. As smart as you might become after these two days, as many ideas as you take away from here, they're truly, as Larry mentioned, like seeds to be planted in the soil. You gotta get going, you gotta take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. You might go home and set a whole new pace for yourself and we call it cleaning up neglect. Should walk around the block, could walk around the block for your good health, don't walk around the block. See, you're on the wrong track. Should read, could read, don't read, on the wrong track. Should call, could call, don't call, on the wrong track. Could change, should change, don't change. You're on the wrong track. Letters you haven't written, conversations you haven't had with your family, somebody you should sit down with when you get back home, get that job done. Don't let neglect destroy your days, destroy your life, and destroy your future. Go back and do what you can. And if you'll do what you can, then life will give you some extraordinary things to do. We all pity the man, right? Wants to stride out of his house, go straighten out the corporation, has not yet straightened out his garage. You gotta take care of the small disciplines before life will give you a chance to handle the more complicated disciplines. How do you think Mark Hughes got here? Scattered now throughout 14, 15 countries, another 14, 15 coming up. I mean, how do you do this? You start first with the smallest of disciplines and do not neglect them and do not disregard them as being trifling. Everything matters, everything's important. Good phrase to take home. All disciplines affect each other. In fact, here's a good philosophical phrase. If you hadn't thought of it before, here it is. Everything affects everything else. It's so easy to be casual and say, well, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. I'm telling you, everything matters. Of course, some things matter more than others, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. Then here's the positive side. Every new discipline affects all your other disciplines. 
If you'll get some new things going, make some calls you've never made before. Step up your activity level, step up your labor level. Develop the skills from these two days of training here. And you'll go home and work some miracles on your days and your life and your future and your income, your business. And a bigger portion of that 400 million will certainly be yours. Go for the disciplines, the smallest of disciplines, the least of disciplines. Like keeping your accounts in order, the smallest of disciplines. Did you ever hear this expression? I don't know where it all goes. Did you ever hear that? I don't know where it all goes. Wow. Oh, we'd love to have you run Herbalife. You don't know where it all goes. How long do you think we'd last here in Herbalife? If that was your philosophy sitting at the top like Mark Hughes. Let me give you the story on Mark Hughes. Mark knows where everything goes. And he started back when he only had pennies. He started back when he only had dollars. He started back when he didn't have much. But here's the key. One of the greatest extraordinary phrases that's ever been written from antiquity says, if you'll be faithful, if you'll be disciplined when the amounts are small, we'll make you a ruler, give you a position of authority when the amounts are many. Somebody says, I've only got two or three distributors. I don't know where they are. Come on. If you've only got two or three, you can know when they get up. You can know when they go to bed. You can know all the details. Take care of your disciplines when the amounts are small. And then life will see to it that you get some extraordinary numbers to work with, like you saw the stories displayed here. Do not disregard the smallest of disciplines. Let us not neglect. Do not neglect the smallest of disciplines. And build on that foundation, and you can have everything you could possibly want. Okay? Get going. Here's number four. Get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. That was what my teacher shared with me that changed my life starting a few steps from here at that convention. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there, ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed, better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better and be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Learn how to handle the seasons better. Let's go through them. Some stuff I did on satellite many, many years ago. Let me just review those notes for you on this getting better part. Learn how to handle the seasons of life. Number one, learn how to handle the winters. We're all going to go through some winters. Herbalife's been through a few. Just the winters of the calendar in the last 12 years. How many winters? About 12. But it's not just the winters of the calendar, it's not just the winters of the seasons. There's all kinds of winters. The winter when you can't figure it out, the winter when it all goes wrong, the winter when you have all kinds of hecklers on a telephone call, right? The winter when you get that first half dozen refunds, the winters of your life. Social winters, political winters that we're going through around the world. Okay? Economic winters that a lot of people are experiencing these days. Personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It is simply called winter time. But here's what you've got to do in your own personal development, your own personal growth. And that is just get better at handling the winters. You can't change the winter. You can't change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You say, well, what can I do about the upcoming winters of my life? The challenges that I know I'm going to face. Here's what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, and better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. 
You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger.